and I'm gonna slow him down right here so I can hit it with this true shot aim. Boom! Hit him with this true shot aim. Boom! That, bro. People don't know about concussion, man. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. This is Dora Star. And I bring you this video because I wanted to try our stings. As we know, Monster Ship Hunters have three different utility arrows, uh, uh, arrow abilities in our PvP tree or PvP talents. And um, I wanted to try Scorpid and Spider. We also have Viper, which is the one that uh, lowers the healing down by 30%, but it only really works for Druids because it lowers your, your healing done, but the moment you do a, a casted spell, it, it comes off. So any, anybody who has a lot of hots, it really helps, but you have much more abilities that you want to use. I tried using, I think I used both because <laughs> I'm not used to using them. So I have them in awkward keybinds, but I know I'm using it. There was no point of me using a spider sting on that dude because he was going to die. And it's on a 45 second cooldown. What I like about Viper is this, or not Viper, what I like about spider is that it, it's really an ability that can turn the tide around if used effectively but you have to be keen you have to be completely aware of everything that's going that's going on and see who has who's going to do that cast that's just going to obliterate somebody i in order to use these sting stings, you you become a support class. All right, you're, you're losing survivability, so you cannot really use them when you're on your own. Um, and but yeah, you lose so much utility that you can you have to have your teammates help you out. Because here I could have used the faint death. I could have used the the true shot mastery buff. I could have been been used my true shot at this point because it reduces the cooldown. Uh, I didn't use Scorpid at that point because the point of Scorpid is you know that he is gonna do mad damage, so you want to decrease. So me spending the time to use scorpion is something i didn't want to do but i definitely don't want to let him go he was beating on me the whole time i did get the flag carrier so it's my turn i wanted to trap him right here but i didn't think he was gonna get the trap i thought he was still cloaked and then here i i thought i was gonna die so i scattered i don't know why he ran that direction i think the scatter made his character go to a direction and that 100% uh, allowed me to live because he was going to kill me. He was going to kill me. But good play. I saw this druid and he's one of those runners and the healer. So I want to get him completely out of the field. The less he's on the field, the less he's healing and the more damage we're doing. And I'm playing with my wolf. And I'm playing with my, or my, actually my hyena, because I noticed that there is a lot of uh, damage dealers in this BG on the Alliance team. So I definitely need some way to escape, so that will help. Unfortunately, since I have him on passive, I do have, an, I do have a macro and a key mine where I can send my pet and bring him back. But I guess when I feign death, I just, I still don't 
use Feign Death again so he can get up. So now I'm sending my little pet. I opened up with a double, uh, double, a double tap aim shot, I'm hitting him, and I'm gonna slow him down right here so I can hit him with his true shot aim. Boom! Hit him with his true shot aim. Boom! That bro. People don't know about concussive, man. Concussive is literally tar trap. So, use concussive for if you're on like facing one character, but you definitely use tar if you want to slow down two people. And right there, this guy is about to get rectified. So here are these rogues again. I saw one that was lower health, so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna go after that guy. <laughs> he has no cooldowns. I should have been paying attention to this guy. Bam, my team is going ham. My team is hungry. I'm hungry as well. Um, I use I use that move right now. I cannot tell if he used an offensive spell or not. But ultimately, from doing these this DG and two others that I have before this one, is I wanted to practice before taking out of the uh, before making an actual video of it because I want to get a little taste of it, you know. But what I've gathered is those things are garbage. <laughs> uh, now, for example, you have Scattershot. Scattershot does everything that these ability does and more. Just in Scattershot. So you cannot not spec into Scattershot. Then you have Scorpid, which you have another PvP talent that works exactly like it, but it actually makes you immune to all critical strikes. Okay? While, while the Scorpids thing, it decreases the opponent's critical strike chance by 50%. Now, I think it's on a lower cooldown than Roar Sacrifice. But Roar Sacrifice... Ah, I just feel like in order to play Scorpids thing, is, is that you don't want to play Roar Sacrifice because you don't want to play with a pet. Because you want to go lone wolf, so uh, Scorpid Sting becomes your roar sacrifice basically, but it only works against melee. While roar sacrifice works against anything. Okay, there I used. I think I silenced the crap out of that. <laughs> yep, I silenced the crap out of that warlock, and I, my whole team is there. There was nothing he can do. Um, I think that the only way our stings can be valuable is if Viper Sting becomes, it's just a complete blanket where for the next uh, such and such seconds, your target will, the, the target's healing will be reduced by a certain amount and then that's it, okay? Secondly, Scorpid and a spider sting should be combined because that way at least you know at least you have an actual option to use as a martial sponsor especially if you don't want to play with roar sacrifice all right now will that be a little too strong um in arenas i think so having roar sacrifice and this thing I think is serious um, so my last thoughts is if you want to use things make sure you are in the niche of that need that you need the, the utility that it brings but do not spec more do not spec into more than one thing just spec one Right? If you're in an arena, 
and you feel that you're gonna need a scorpion, which you probably don't <laughs> because you're gonna want the famed death one or you wanna want the sword warrior sacrifice and then a different utility, especially scattershot. So in arenas, I don't think it's the only one that I feel that would be great would be Viper Sting. Uh, not Viper Sting. Uh, Spider Sting. Spider Sting is going to be great in arenas, but even then, it's only against casters. And maybe uh, a rest of Druid. Then we have the Scorpid Sting. It just doesn't. The value of Scorpid Sting is so low. Like it should, it has to be like in a 10 second cooldown. I would rather, I would rather you just have it baked into your melee or your, your white hits. That's how I feel. Uh, Scattershot is always going to be the one that you want to spec into. And the stings are just too niche. They're just too niche. And not only are they too niche, they're under powered in my opinion all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um keep up an eye out for monday i'm gonna put on an arena video and but with that being said i'll check you guys on the next one peace